Next, the BBC has announced plans to axe South Today Oxford. The programme's due to end in November and merge with the wider region based in Southampton. The National Union of Journalists say the BBC risks undermining quality journalism. It follows the government's decision to freeze the BBC licence fee for two years. BBC, of course, is a, a much treasured uh, public service broadcaster and local news is at the very heart of everything that the BBC does. Um, Oxfordshire has a really distinct identity uh, and it's important that local residents' views will be able to be heard. The journalists locally really can get stuck in and to understand the issues locally. So I am extremely disappointed and I think it should be reversed and I would urge BBC bosses to do that as soon as possible. Well, earlier I spoke to the BBC's Director of Nations, Rodri Talfan davies and asked him why the move was necessary. So we've made a series of announcements today, a series of proposals about how we develop our online presence across England, improve the online news and the online journalism that we deliver across England. But we've also had to make some difficult decisions about reducing some of our broadcast output so that we can uh, improve the way that we deliver online and clearly one of those uh, difficult decisions was the announcement we've made um, to bring the Oxford Opt um, to an end and, and for South Today which is headquartered in Southampton to deliver uh, bulletins across the day. They already do to Oxfordshire as you know in, uh, in, the, in the morning at breakfast um, but in future the proposal is that they would also do so at 6.30 and 10.30. Well, the Director General has said the priority should be to cover more stories outside of London to reflect local communities. So why then close the Oxford programme? So the announcement we've made today is that we're going to maintain, despite the funding pressures the BBC faces, we're going to maintain our funding on local and regional services right across England. But we have to make some difficult decisions about how you make sure that your online news services um, offer quality and consistency to audiences because many audiences increasingly rely on online services as much as historically they might have done on radio and television. So it's a constant balancing act and Oxford is by some distance our smallest television opt in England so again that, that, was the, that was the decision, a really difficult decision particularly for the teams affected. What do you say to our viewers in areas like Aylesbury or Banbury who from November are going to get fewer local stories? Well, I, I hope that by developing our on local online services, by developing our services on BBC Sounds on B uh, and giving a greater local flavour to BBC iPlayer, that in time they'll get a better local service from the BBC. But I, but I recognise it's challenging. I, I would say that the enlarged region, you know, covering... From, from, from Oxford down to Southampton, um, it's still significantly smaller than many, many of the big BBC English regions a, 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 across the UK. So yes, a difficult decision, but, I, but I, I, I think again, just it's all about trying to strike a balance between television and online. Okay, Rodri Talfin-Davis, thank you.